six kids. Three teams. Two months waiting for the stupid director to post the videos. Now, the moment you've waited for is finally here. Who will win the one title of Candlepin for Kids Champion? Welcome back to another edition of Candle Pin for Kids. This is the season ending championship. I'm your host Steve Reno. And I'm your co-host Dan Schubert Gothier. And this is it. This is the 11 and under age group. They're here today to compete uh, in two separate matches. We have a semifinals and a finals. Uh, the winner of today's match will receive a $50 gift card and a nice $50 championship trophy. Our, our, our other winners will also receive a few different gift cards that we have available today. But uh, we're going to talk about the prizes and all kinds of stuff this next hour. But uh, let's meet the bowlers, shall we? Let's hear it for the bowlers. All right, we have our third seeds representing the Park Place Lanes in Wyndham, New Hampshire, and the Fico's Bowdrome in Franklin, Mass. Say hello to Nicole LaVoy and Hunter Johnson. They'll be facing off in our first match today against the second seeds. This young lady represents the Bogey Lanes in East Brookfield, Mass. And her partner today is from the Leo Super Bowl in Amesbury, Mass. Say hello to Mikhail, Michaela Turtelot and Jacob Robichaud. And the winners of this match will take on our top seeds today, representing the Central Park Lanes in East Boston, Mass. And the Wuben Bowlerdrome in Wuben, Massachusetts. And also the Central Park Lanes in East Boston. Please say hello to Justine DiBiasio and Aaron Sousa. All right, we're going to have a seat over here. Everybody's going to take their positions. I'll have a seat next to Dan Gothier, my fellow host. And Michaela Turtelot is going to lead us off in our first string semifinal match. Here we go, Dan. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. Almost two months waiting for this. Michaela was practicing the other day at Bogey Lane. She came in and rolled a few games. She said she was all excited and I think she's ready to go. A little nervous maybe. Her mom was telling me she had a little tummy ache, a little bit nervous. She's the youngest contestant we've had in the finals. Well, our ladies are off to a fine start. Michaela with three pins remaining. The one, two, and nine. Piece of wood in between the one and nine. Nicole Lavoy settles for eight. And Michaela makes the shot, Dan. A, you know, for a super ten to start the match. It was an match. awesome ten. Uh, you have to press the button, Michaela. Here, I was gonna say for being nervous. I remember the last time she was on. To me, she looks a lot more composed now because she's in a flow. She's going nice and smooth, and even she's not having those big pauses between balls like the first time she was on with us. This this uh, this string here is a one string match. Our young ladies will bowl the entire game oh, look at of their own strike. compared to uh, we usually have them bowl five boxes Whoa. and then the boy will bowl the final a five. <laughs> Here's the hammer. Here's our first mark of the match, a big strike by Nicole Lavoy. If we take a slow motion instant replay look at that, it may take about ten minutes in slow motion. Right you are, Dan, so why don't we speed it up and said. Takes the four pin a while to fall, but when it does, takes the eight with it. Michaela leaving the diamond with the head pin as the object pin. Slides by all four pins, settles for six. It's 18 to 16. Lavoy working on the strike. 
Michaela got her first experience at States this, this year. Heard she did awesome. Her mother said she averaged around 85 or 86 for the whole state tournament. I know she medaled in a in a two or three of the events, Dan. Yeah. That's and she's not even what, eight years old? Seven? Eight? Michaela will be looking for a big out. Nicole Lavoy filling that strike with six in 24 after two. A real big out. There's a great buy by Turtlelot. A big nine. Those outs like that are so important. It's like getting a little mark, you know. A nice nine instead of a two. It's a huge difference. Lavoy with an eight. It's 32-25 in favor of Lavoy and Johnson. After five boxes, the boys will step up and they'll start their own string. And they'll roll five boxes. And then we'll have our bowlers switch sides. Yeah, that is something we're doing a little bit different for these championship shows. We're going to let the boys and girls bowl their full string. I, I think they like to go home and know what they hit, you know? They can say, hey, I threw a 110. Let's be a little proud of it. All right, our girls will be looking for a 10. See if they can clean these pins up. Turtle lot. Settles for eight. And Lavoie with a nine. Very close match. A lot of bowling here. 41 to 33. I love 33. That's because it represents Larry Bird. <laughs> knew it. One of my favorite basketball players, Dan. And I think that the, the, these kids probably don't even know who Larry Bird is. Isn't that kind of sad? Does it make you feel old, Steve? A little bit. <laughs> Makes me feel old. <laughs> They, they remember today's athletes like LeBron James. I see Michaela's got some ink on her arms. There are a couple nice tattoos. She's nice try by Nicole Lavoy, like LeBron. Another good out coming up here. Fine ball by Michaela Turtlelot. Takes six. Nicole Lavoy with nine. Some excellent pinning by Nicole Lavoy. And that's it. That'll be the half. We're going to send up the boys up, their partners. We have Hunter Johnson and Jacob Robichaux, and Robichaux is going to lead us off. It's 39 to 50, an 11 pin difference in the match. Robichaux just sliding by the head pin on the left side. He leads the four horsemen right side with the seven pin in the corner. Hunter Johnson off to the left side, only taking out three pins. He maybe thought he was going to take out the same three pins, but on the opposite side, Dan. Hunter's got an interesting ball, Steve, because he, he gets some air under it, but if you watch him bowl, he stops his slide about four feet in front wow. of the line. So it looks like it goes a long way in the air, but it's always landing well before the lob line. So it's kind of deceiving if anybody at home sees it go up there. That's correct, it's Dan. It's clearly a legal ball. It's interesting to see him stop four feet in front of the yeah, foul He pops line. it out there, but it's, that ball does stay behind the... Uh, the lob line. I don't think I've ever seen a bullet. Not even close. So far behind the foul line is him. You know he'll never foot foul with that. Never has to worry about it. Well, our boys a tough, tough single a couple of really great tens to start out with, Dan. Roper show nice on it. Spare. Oh no, is it gonna go? Oh no, I called that spare before it fell. Look at it <laughs> rock, Dan. He moved it three inches. He couldn't have played it any better. That was a very well placed ball. I, yeah, I, I'm still in disbelief. He's I all over the, for the 10. I called the spare and it didn't go. I feel bad. Well, these pins are fairly new. So they have a nice flat cap. We have a 10 for Robichaux and a 6 for Johnson. 16 to 20 is a 4 pin difference between our boys and a 15 pin difference in the match. Excuse me, no, that is that would be wrong. <laughs> it's it's a seven pin difference now, yeah. in the match. I added when I should have subtracted Dan. Look at that. Uh, nice ball again by really Robichaux. Cool. Very Hunter had his hands on his head, but he's got enough wood on this. Ball. This could go. I think he put it down by the 10 pin. Something ought to go left, right? He's right in the group. He's on he it. Goes. Nice shot. He's nice spare by Hunter Johnson. Signature arm pump at nice the end. Nice 10 by Jacob Robichaux. Boys really came the bowl today. Three. They sure did, Steve. Let's take one more look at Hunter converting the 7-10. Three 10s, nothing wrong with that. Perfect game going for Jacob Robichaux. Although this match is tightening up a little bit here. 
with a big mark by Hunter. Well, a fine ball on the three pin. A oh, good fill here. Three pins remaining. Spare lead for Robichaux. And a great fill by Hunter Johnson. It's another makeable spare, too. That Filling that help. spare with seven. Yes, it is, Dan. He's going to try to play the pin in the wood at the same time. Maybe. Outside. Oh, maybe. Oh, an inch short. A nice try by Johnson. Robichaux takes eight. He's at 38. Johnson's on it for 10. He's at 43. 